Hey guys, Rick here. Today we are going to be making 55 gallon plastic barrel planters. So here's what I have done. I've got a barrel here and I've actually taken the time to pre-mark this. But I'm going to try to make this one a lot quicker than the other videos that I've seen on YouTube. So what this is, is it took about an hour to figure out the 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 diagram that I wanted. But these lines here are four and a half inches apart. There is a three inch gap in between there. And there is a six and a half inch spacing from there. I think I started five inches from the top and... Five inches, six, yeah, five inches from the top and bottom, and then just started spacing it out in between there. So, uh, this is for a 55 gallon plastic barrel. So, uh, the uh, markings are off just a little bit, but it's close enough to where you can get um, 45 plants uh, in the sides and then five on the, on the top. So, 50 plants is what they're always uh, talking on there. So, oh, uh, let me see here. There are nine rows, or um, nine sections per row. So the nine, uh, 18, 27, 36, 45. So it's all the way around and then five at the top. So, okay guys, uh, let me see here. What we're going to do is I'm going to use this as I go. So I have the old uh, corded drill. Uh, because I don't think my batteries can handle the uh, amount of um, drilling that I'm going to be doing here. But pretty much I have marked with a Sharpie little circles on every corner. And I'm just going to drill right through it. And I will be doing that 90, see, for 90 times. So, let me do one more. Alright, so, alright guys, I'll be back uh, when I get done drilling all this. And we'll uh, go on to the next step. Alright, and all done there. So, I'm actually doing two buckets at the same time. So, it took probably um, about five minutes per bucket uh, to drill those in there. So, uh, from this point, what we're going to do is grab hold of the jigsaw, and we're going to be slicing, slicing each line, and then uh, from that point, uh, we'll move on to the next step. So, let me get my jigsaw ready, and I need to go find my corded one. I have a cordless jigsaw, but I don't think, uh, much like the, the uh, drill. I don't think the battery's gonna hold up, so let me go hunt down my corded uh, drill. I mean, my uh, uh, jigsaw, corded jigsaw. All right, guys, be back shortly. Okay, guys, so I seem to forgot I lended my jigsaw off to my brother. So, um, and yeah, that's been probably a year ago. Forgot. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use my cordless for a bit. Oh, uh, one thing I forgot to mention: always, always, always eye protection. Okay. So, and want to protect uh, protect the babies. So, all right. So, the jigsaw blade I used a, a three eighths inch drill bit, and um, it seems to fit. That's the uh, jigsaw blade, and it fits right on in there. And at that point, let me see if we can do this with one hand. That's all we're going to do. That was a sloppy cut. <laughs> That's fine. Because uh, once we put the heat on, let me give this one more shot to redeem it. Alright, that's better. So I guess it helps to look at the line and then through the camera. So what I'm going to do is uh, cut all of the uh, holes. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to cut all the, um, from hole to hole. And I'll leave a space in between that three inch space I'll leave that one and then go all around the border uh, barrel 
So there's 45 lines that I have to cut and I'm doing two barrels so it should probably take about another 10 minutes or so. So alright guys, I'll be back and we'll see going to the next step after that. Alright guys, so next part of this, I grabbed a couple old 2 before cut a 45 degree uh, cut on it and we'll see if that's actually deep enough. And I've never owned one before, but I uh, bought a heat gun. So it's 1500 volt uh, Wagner, I believe it is. Yeah. So you can find it in the paint section at a lot of the big box stores. And what I, at this point, I am going to uh, heat this like in a circle area and then shove a two before off up in the corner of it and see if we can make our first pocket. So, all right, let me uh, pause and and I'll record the first pocket and kind of see how that goes. All right. Okay guys, after two and a half hours, I am done. So, a couple bathroom breaks in there and uh, some uh, husbandly duties that I have to do on occasion. So, this is it. So, with the uh, Wagner heat gun, once I got into a routine, uh, that joker went really quick. Or so, I, so it felt anyway. I just checked the time as uh, two and a half hours later. Uh, okay, so I did end up cutting one more two before and using that. And it's kind of a cool day out here today. And by the time I got it back to the fourth one, it was already molded. So, uh, next part is to cut a hole in the bottom. So, I got to figure out where the center is on that and to cut some legs. I don't know if I'm going to use two by sixes or two by eights. I'm not sure yet. One of those two, though. And then I'll uh, get the. Uh, four inch PVC pipe actually I have some old stuff sitting over here in the corner so I'll just use that for the compost bin uh, that one's schedule 40 and 
Wyland. It may or may not be, but it doesn't matter. So I'll cut it to size and get that all together. So, all right, guys, I'm going to take a break and then we will get back to it. All righty. All right, guys. So here we are the next day. Uh, I'm getting ready to cut some legs for the barrel over here. And what I've done is bought a 10 foot piece of two by six and I'm going to be cutting them 20 inches apart and that's going to give me six legs, three, four, six legs, uh, three for each one and then we'll draw up a design to cut out the notch to get that in there. So I'm going to be using my miter saw but you can use anything, skill saw, hand saw, whatever you got and uh, to get these legs. So all right, I'm going to pause the video and we're going to get these legs cut and I'll be back. All right, guys, minute. legs are cut. I have six of them now. And at this point, what I want to do is conjure up a mold to uh, kind of shape it to the legs. So what I did, I cut a piece of cardboard. All I did was got about eye level, held a piece of cardboard up like so. And I just uh, took a Sharpie and uh, drew it from that. And at this point right now, I'm just shaping it to where I need to get to. So you draw that and get like a uh, pair of scissors or I have a uh, utility knife here. And I'll just uh, kind of get it to where it needs to be. And then I will cut a piece of wood to be a mold so I can just draw it out um, from that point there. So let me finish shaping and I'll get a piece of wood, get it cut, and then we'll continue from there. All right, be back in just a moment. All right, guys, so at this point, I cut out a piece of mold. It's not the cleanest thing in the world, but it's close enough. So uh, I'm not really that uh, uh, particular on being exact. So that's an approximate cut there. So what I'll do is come on over here. So the legs are 20 inches long. This is seven inches from the top to where I want to cut the shelf off. And these, this part's going to be, this is going to be the legs here. So what I'm going to do, this is two and a half inches from across there. And I will cut this piece out and the bottom of the barrel will be sitting right here okay and then i will run some three inch screws uh on the outside there once i get this all cut so uh at this point i'm just going to line this up i will draw it out and then i will cut it uh with uh with my jigsaw so all right guys let me get that done and I'll be back. Okay, guys. So at this point, I got everything cut here. And what I want to do now is drill two holes on the corners here to fit these three-inch bolts. Okay, I got a bolt. I got a nut. <clears throat> and then I have a washer that I'm going to be putting on the inside of those. So those all came from a big box store. <clears throat> Pretty inexpensive. So I bought 12 of them um, for uh, both barrels. And then I have a drill bit. I'm not sure what size that is. Probably about a 5 16 or so. So just big enough to where you get a snug fit in there. And then uh, when you get them lined up, we'll drill a hole through the barrel as well. So let me go ahead and do these and be back in a minute. Okay, all holes drilled at this point. So I'll just double check. Make sure we can... Let me get that off of there real quick. So, sure, stick a, a nut on through there, and perfect. Going out the back side. So, not just not the straightest in the world, but it'll get the job done. All right. So, at this point now, I'm going to line up the legs onto the barrel, and I will drill another hole in through that, and attach the legs so that's one benefit of having a hole before you glue your composting in because you can just reach right on through and put your nut and washer on 
when you get to that point. So, all right, guys, I'm gonna line this stuff up. So make sure to line them up in between your um, your holes that you have there. And that's why I left it at 7 inches instead of 10 inches because it would have actually came down to the second hole as well. So, all right, let me get that lined up and we'll be back in a minute. Okay, guys, so let me do this last leg here. I made a mistake drilling, pre-drilling this hole early. Uh, what it does is actually hit into this thick plastic and I don't want the bolt to be that close down. So what I've been doing, I'll line it up. I'll run the drill through it, I'll pop the plastic, and at that point um, I'll reach through with my washer and my bolt and the nut to uh, get the uh, screw on in. So let me see if I can actually do this with one hand, give it a shot anyway. All right. Can't get the pressure on it that I like. Yeah, I think we're almost there though. There we go. Now we're up. So, and we get through there. Let me take this off. Okay, and then we'll push the bolt on through. Like so, and then I'll put my hand down through there, and put the washer on. See, I need both hands for this one, so sorry about the angle. And then I'll put the nut on as well. Okay. There we go. So, both legs are on now, so at this point I'm going to get my socket and I will tighten them and make sure everything is uh, secure and level. All right. All right, so legs are on, everything is secure. That is really tight. Uh, I think about the only thing I'm going to regret is using this soft wood instead of a pressure treated wood. But because this is a barrel, the chances I'm gonna be emptying every year anyway. I will uh, end up switching them out for pressure treated wood if uh, what I think is going to happen, happen. And so at this point, I'm actually going to um, just uh, put a weatherproof stain on it anyway and probably end up painting it. But if it gets me through the year, that's all I really need anyway. So and then if I continue to like these barrels and I'll switch them on out to pressure treated wood. So all right. So it is sturdy. That is perfect. So sitting uh 12 inches off the ground or so so at this point now i am going to go and take my four inch pvc i am going to line everything up correctly and then i am going to go ahead and glue that lip in and silicone it and then push it in from the top down to the bottom and then I'll uh, glue glue everything else on as well. So at this moment, let me go and grab my glue. It's a uh, PVC glue, the stuff that's in the cans, purple, and that will lock everything in place there. And then I'll uh, pull out the silicone gun, the caulk gun, and get that taken care of. Well, I guess it helps to read directions, <laughs> which I was not doing. I uh, got this joker pushed down and forgot, realized I forgot to drill holes and for worms to come in out of. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that done. So I'm gonna use, uh, I don't know what size that is. What is that, sir? That is a 3 8 inch blade or a drill bit. So I'm gonna drill holes on both sides up and down. And then I have that smaller piece right there. So that white piece you were seeing is just a coupler. So it's not, I didn't, this pipe wasn't long enough, so I uh, realized that came apart. So I'm going to just drill holes in both of these pieces here and I'll stuff it on back down in there. 
all right guys all done so day number three uh took the time to uh put the plug in and let it set so what i did was pushed it through glued this piece on and silicone around the other one i took the collar off the middle or the inside because i couldn't get a good seal on it and stained the legs here so that is what it looks like and the next step now is to take it to the backyard and go get some soil and all that good stuff to get it up in. Get up in there and get the um, strawberry roots planted. So we'll take care of that uh, probably in the next day or so. So <laughs> this video is taking a while to do and then I still have to edit and all that stuff. But that is that there. So all right, guys, until next time. All right, guys, here it is, all done, all filled. There are 50 strawberry plants in here. So some of them actually starting to bloom already. So um, 45 around the sides and then five on top. Big learning lesson on this thing here. So when I had watered it, it had started settling down some more. And the plants that I had put in started dropping down to the yay, yay level. So I had to start individually pulling them all back up one by one and then packing them uh, back in again. So, uh, so finish that and everybody looks happy again. And my seal around the compost bin did not take. So that's where the water seems to be flowing out at. And uh, which is no big deal. So I'm just glad I finally got this guy all watered. <coughs> so, but that's the deliciousness right there. So, nice brown color. Yeah. And <laughs> got my leek. <laughs> uh, so, even trying to take my time getting it together, it's always going to be learning lessons for this one. So, I know that one's going to leak already because I didn't put a, a good seal on it. So, but that's okay as well. So what I'm thinking is building uh, two more and uh, having 200 strawberries. So we'll see. Anyway, this has been about a week long process. So this video is all edited. And as you can see, I have different clothes on all the time. <laughs> Other than my camo that you guys see me in pretty much every video. That's because I wear camo pretty much every day. I'm a real tree guy. And um that's pretty much it so that's the uh, 55 gallon barrel plastic barrel strawberry planter <laughs> all right guys till next video we'll see you later bye oh i forgot i'm gonna do this one later uh probably tomorrow I'm tired now all right see you guys peace